What's going on guys, Medicine in 3 Minutes back here with another video and today we're going to be talking about charcot Mary tooth disease and we're going to get straight to the point make the subject clear, brief and illustrated. So let's get started. Now what is charcot Mary tooth disease? If you're ever trying to remember the name, I like to keep three visuals in mind. So I like to think of a shark and then simply the name O'Mary and then a tooth. If you remember these three things, I'm sure that you'll always have the name in mind if you're ever in a test or in any situation where you just need to get that name in your head. Just remember these three visuals. And don't forget that this whole channel is based on uh, learning, based off visual uh, memorization. And at, at whatever you need to know, just remember to refer yourself to the illustrations. There are tons on the video that will hopefully help you memorize. Now, we will base this off five different sections. First, we will start with physiopathology. Then we'll move on to the symptoms, the diagnosis, the treatment, and the prognosis. And this should give you, you know, a general uh understanding on how this works. Now, first of all, if we start with the physiopathology, now you have to understand that there is a hereditary, hereditary motor and sensory neuropathy. What does that mean? That means that uh, it generally runs through, gen it, it puts emphasis on genetics. So it is uh, autosomal dominant, meaning that uh, it it runs through every single part of the family and it will go on for every single generation that comes. And if you ever forget about that, just remember this visual and help you memorize. Now, uh, the myelin sheath is affected. So just remember that the sheath right here, this is a demonstration of it. It will be affected in the physiopathology and the muscles affected are the perineum muscles and the tibia. So the, here's an, a little illustration if you need to remember that. Now, the, what are the symptoms? Now, the main symptoms are uh, frequent falls. This is mainly due to uh, muscular weakness. So one will not uh, generally be able to perform basic tasks such as walking or running uh, without some sort of difficulty. And generally, they'll, be, uh, they'll tend to be clumsy in these actions. Now, multiple small injuries on the hands and feet are quite common. Uh, you'll see in most cases, there will be uh, a, some sort of pain in the arms and legs, especially in the feet. And if that is if that is the case, then you're most likely dealing with this. Uh, claw hands, if you look at this demonstration right here, uh, you can see that the hands are in a claw type of shape. Now, if they are like this, then again, that is putting emphasis on uh, that you will have Charcot-Marie tooth disease. Again, uh, Another symptom you can find are hammer toes. I think it's pretty self-explanatory in right here. Again, it's um, it's quite similar to claw hands, but it's more in the feet. And yeah, again, if you have this, you you are most likely dealing with Charcot-Marie tooth disease. Um, also, lower leg <coughs> uh, lower leg have decreased, and the muscles have bulk. So it appears uh, stork-like. So if you look here, uh, his muscles. Uh, his legs have really, really started to shrink and his upper body is really starting to bulk up just like this little uh, stork over here. It's really in the same uh, similar type of chin. Now, uh, the last symptom that you can find is uh, an aspect of pest cavus. Now, if you look here, this is a perfect example of pest cavus in a, in, an, uh, in a grown man's foot. Now, if you see, there's a little arc right here, and that should indicate that they have pest cavus. Now, what is the diagnosis? So, the one diagnosis that you can have is a decreased motor or sensory nerve velocity. Another could be sural nerve biopsy, which is also called onion bubble effect. And the CPK is normal. So it is a nerve, not a muscle issue. You have to keep that in mind. Uh, okay, so what is the treatment? Now, correct management is essential. Now, it's, it is insanely important that uh, you can have very good, you take care of your body in this specific state. Uh, physiotherapy does help a lot. So it is uh, important that one goes to uh, find a physiotherapist. And it is important that there is a stabilization in the ankles with a surgical fusion. So if, uh, if that procedure is possibly done, then it is a great treatment to solve this. Now, there are three drugs that must be avoided if you, if you are willing to treat this. Now, those are cysteine, 
clomazepine and anesthetics. So if you make sure to avoid these three drugs, then uh, it'll make your treatment much, much easier. Now, moving on to the prognosis. Now, this is pretty simple. Uh, you just have to really keep in mind that it does not affect one's lifespan. So there is usually a normal lifespan in those who uh, have Charcot-Marie tooth disease. Um, it does remain mostly ambulatory and it slowly uh, progresses in uh, severity over the decades. So the more you age, the worse it gets. Uh, also, this cur you have to remember that this disease is currently uncurable, so we have not yet found uh, a cure for this disease. While we do have treatments, we have solid treatments, we have not yet found a, a cure. Yeah, and I would also like uh, to tell you guys to check out Butchered Gardens in Eden, in Eden of the Pacific. It's actually a wonderful book. It talks, it has uh, some great flashes of uh, poetry and some amazing photography on the inside. If you're ever able to check out the gardens themselves, it is an absolutely beautiful area. I'm sure everyone would love to see this, but this book is absolutely amazing. Go check it out. I'm pretty sure it costs less than $3 at the moment. And it is absolutely amazing. I'll definitely go give it a read. It's really great. Well, yeah, this has been another episode of Medicine at Three Minutes. So make sure to click the like button and subscribe. And don't forget that success is, is contagious. So you never know what could happen. So please leave a like and subscribe. Comment and leave comments down below. Tell us what you'd like to watch next. If there's anything we did wrong or anything we didn't clarify on, I'd be happy to explain in the comments. So, yeah definitely leave your feedback. We'd love to hear what you guys think of the video. So thank you so much and have an amazing day, guys.